Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn how to write a paragraph. Yes, that's right. The burger method. With a topic sentence, detail sentences, and a conclusion sentence. So let's get started. Well, here we have a burger. Yes, that's right. We have a top bun. We have the lettuce. We have cheese, tomato, meat, and then the bottom bun. Now, the topic sentence, that's the top bun. Well, it is the very first sentence of your paragraph. It always needs to be indented. It tells what your paragraph is going to be about. So let's look at the example. There are many reasons I love teaching. So we have the indent, that space, before the first sentence. Then the first detail, that would be your lettuce. It should not be the most important detail. It needs to follow directly after the topic sentence and it needs to be full of good lettuce details. Yes, let's look at the example. First of all, I love being at school. So let's look at the other detail. Well, the second detail is the cheese. Yeah, still not the most important detail. It needs to start differently than other sentences. It needs to be full of good cheesy details. Yes, another reason I love teaching is that the days go by quickly. So here we used another reason. So the third detail is the tomato. Here still should not be the most important detail. It needs to follow directly after the cheese sentence. It needs to be full of good juicy details, like in our example. A third reason is because I enjoy seeing a student understand something new. Okay. The last detail, that's the meat. Hmm, the meat. Finally, the most important detail. It should start differently than most of the other sentences. And it needs to be full of good meaty details. Like in the example, finally, I love teaching because I love being around kids. That's the last detail and the most important one. And finally, you have the closing sentence. That is your bottom bum. So it should look a lot like the topic sentence. It needs to summarize the topic. And we need to try to rephrase the topic sentence to make it more interesting. Like in this example. These are the most important reasons I love teaching. Yes, that's right. So the first was there are many reasons I love teaching. That's your first sentence. And your last sentence is these are the most important reasons I love teaching. So let's recap. Number one, we need a topic sentence. So don't forget to indent. Number two, first detail about topic. Number three, second detail about topic. Number four, third detail about topic. Number five, last and most important detail about the topic. Closing sentence summarizing the topic, that is your last sentence. And try to use different words. So, that's your burger. Last tips, okay? Don't forget to indent. Please indent the first sentence. Don't forget commas, periods, and capital letters. Yes, capital letters, usually at the beginning of a sentence. Don't forget to double space your work, yeah. And don't forget to use interesting adjectives and amazing adverbs too. 
For extra marks, try to use transition words like first of all, transition phrases or words, second, third, in conclusion, however, moreover, etc. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, you may type your question under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, please hit on the like button and you may share the lesson with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.